What's going on, y'all? Welcome back to Kid Taj. I'm here with the daily NBA video, and today we're gonna be talking about the Los Angeles Clippers. Before getting into it, I just want to say if you enjoy this shit, drop a like down below, comment an idea, something you want to see, a player you want to see me do a video on. I always keep those. I have like a list of ideas to do if I ever, you know, run out, so it's good to hear what you guys have to say. And subscribe if you're new, and also my gaming channel. I had links in the description. I just made that uh, the other day, yesterday, um, and that's gonna have videos shortly. Watch Dogs 2, Let's Play, and all that. But if you're not into that, that's fine because you're here, you're watching this video, and we're gonna be talking about the Los Angeles Clippers, like I said. I mean, this has been one of the best teams, if not the best team, in the NBA so far. They start their season 9 and 1. They have a game against Brooklyn tonight, so that should be an easy one. If they knock that out, then they're 10 and 1. This 9 and 1 start is the best start in franchise history for the Los Angeles Clippers. Now, that might not sound like it's saying a lot, but that probably absolutely annihilates any other great start that they had before because this team has been a terrible franchise for as long as anyone can remember until recent years when they acquired Chris Paul from New Orleans. And they became a contender, a team that would go two rounds per year in the playoffs. But this year is different. And there's a reason why I said that the Clippers are legitimate title contenders. And it's because if this team can stay healthy, if we can see the trio of Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan in the playoffs healthy, this team could be a problem. And they definitely have a chance at getting past those two rounds that haunt them. Um, it, and it's very possible they could go to the conference finals and they are even it's even possible they could get all the way to the finals and win it they are a contender like I said legitimately you know they, they don't have the highest odds out of everybody but you know so far they're playing like they want it more than anyone else they're looking for that one seed that no one thought they'd get they're looking great so far you can't say anything yet just because you know we're 10 games in at least for them but uh, yeah keeping up this type of play would be r ridiculous remarkable and definitely realistic if you've been looking at how they're playing. So let's talk about what they've been doing. And it's been actually not something that was really expected. I mean, we knew that DeAndre Jordan and Chris Paul were both premier defensive players, especially DJ. This guy is one of the greatest rim protectors in the NBA, if not the greatest rim protector in the NBA. You know, but they've never really been known as that defensive powerhouse team. You know, in years past, they've been known as the best offensive team. But the guy like Chris Paul running the show, Blake Griffin, as your really ideal post-up and athletic power forward that can do everything on the offensive end. He can space the floor and hit jump shots. And you got a shooter to play alongside Chris Paul. The best case scenario, J.J. Redick sniping Jamal Crawford off the bench. Like, you think, wow, this team is just crazy offensively. But the funniest thing about it is that they've actually been the best on the defensive end they are number one in terms of points allowed they have given up around 91 points per game that's absolutely spectacular and it's not something that was really foreseen from the la clippers going into this season another thing i'm going to say is that the clippers are playing team basketball they have five guys averaging at least 10 points per game and that those guys are blake griffin chris paul jj reddick deandre jordan and jamal crawford they don't have any players averaging over two turnovers per game. This team takes care of the ball. They only turn the ball over 11 times per game. And they're absolutely fantastic. Yeah, taking care of the ball. They get nine, almost 10 steals per game. They score 107 points per game compared to the 91 they give up. So their point differential has been absolutely fantastic so far. And they're led by an offensive mastermind, Chris Paul. And this guy can set up anybody. He can run an offense as good as you can have an offense ran, especially with the pieces that you have. And he's also a great backcourt defensive player. I mean, this guy can stay in front of anyone. He knows when to reach. He knows how to get steals. He's currently averaging 2.7 steals per game. 8.5 assists is down a little bit. But I think this team is really moving the ball more. And they're kind of, they're, they're going away from him a little, you know, as much as they used to. Because... This team can run the offense through Blake Griffin as well. This guy can make plays passing and scoring, and he's a guy that you love to have the ball in his hands. So when Jamal Crawford comes into the game, he's another guy that can make plays. Austin Rivers has been very good for this team as well. Maurice Spates averaging almost 10 points a game for this team. They have a lot of guys. Luke Richard and Bob Mute has been really good for them as well. 
their bench has been fantastic. It consists of Raymond Felton, Austin Rivers, Jamal Crawford, Brandon Bass, and Maurice Spates. Those guys, they get it done. And also, uh, I forgot to mention Wesley Johnson, and they've got a guy, Alan Anderson, who, you know, he can step in there as well. I mean, Paul Pierce isn't even playing, really. I don't know if he's injured or not, but he hasn't even played yet, really. Um, you know, this team, they are just they just know what they're doing, and they're dominating other teams. They've got great pieces. They've got great chemistry. They've had this same group together for so long. They're 9-1 right now, the best record in the NBA. They're playing absolutely fantastic. They're playing, you know, the best way they can. You know, when you see, think of a team with Chris Paul, Blake Griffin, and DeAndre Jordan playing at their fullest strengths with those great role players as well. This is what it looks like. And a lot of people might say this is just a regular season, but the Clippers have never done this in the regular season before. They've never had a record like this coming out the gate. They've never played this well. And regular seasons often shape how great you play in the playoffs. For a lot of teams, if you if you have a great regular season, you're bound to be good in the playoffs. It just happens to be that way a lot of the time. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes you got a team like the Cavs who just steamrolls everyone. But we all know the Cavs could be great in the regular season. This is the Western Conference. There are so many elite teams in this conference, including the Clippers, the Spurs, and the Warriors. Well, that's basically it, you know. But for at least for right now, those teams are all playing pretty well right now. But the Clippers are playing better than anyone in the West, and they're playing about as good as the Cavs, if not better, you know, looking at their point differential and how they've been able to just dominate teams. Um, and I think that's been fantastic for them. You know, it's very interesting to see because this team was always floating around that three seed area. I don't think they've ever been a one or a two seed in the playoffs before. They've, they've been three or less. But this year, they've coming out strong. They've came out strong. They've made a statement. They've been absolutely fantastic. And we'll see, you know, can they keep this up? Can they be the number one seed in the West? We'll have to find out.